In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily build a membership site using Webflow and MemberSpace. By the end of this tutorial, we'll have a Webflow site where all our member-only content pages will have been locked down. People will be able to sign up and pay to join our membership, and they'll be able to access the member-only content when they're logged in. So let's get started. The first step is to create our Webflow site. If you don't already have an existing membership site, you can use this template that we've created, which is designed specifically for memberships. It's available for free at webflow.com slash website slash memberspace. And you can just click the clone button to make your own copy like I've done here. So let me show you what the live site currently looks like and explain what the main member-only pages are that we're going to lock down. Obviously, we have a home page here, which you can customize to tell people about your membership, uh, tell them about the benefits and the reasons why they should join. And we have a pricing plan down here, which shortly we are gonna hook up these buttons to a sign-up form so our members can sign up and pay to join our membership. Let's take a look at the member-only pages that we're gonna protect. First of all, we have the dashboard. This is the main page our members will see every time they log in. And this gives them easy access to everything that's available in the membership. Below that, we have a content library where they'll be able to see and access all the content that's available to them. And then we have a course template so if you have a training course, you can use this template to put that together. So on this page, we have the title of the course, a description. On the right-hand side, we have links to individual lessons. And then below that, we have links to websites or resources. If I click on one of the lessons, the page looks pretty similar, but this is obviously designed to teach a lesson. And this could be text-based, or you could embed a video at the top of this page here. So those are the main pages, and we're going to lock those down. But before we can do that, the next thing we need to do is to install MemberSpace on our Webflow site. We need to go to the MemberSpace admin, and we need to start by telling MemberSpace about our new Webflow site. So I'd click this link, complete these fields, click All Done, and then that would be set up. I've already gone ahead and done that here. The second thing we need to do is to go to Customize Integrations Webflow, and we wanna take this custom code and add that to our Webflow site. There's also the option to add a floating login account button to your website, but we're gonna create custom links here, so I'll leave that disabled and just copy the code. Then in Webflow Designer, I go to Project Settings, click Custom Code, and paste my code there. Save those changes, and then I publish. And that's it. MemberSpace is now installed on our Webflow site. We're ready to protect our member-only pages. Now, as a reminder, we want to protect the dashboard, the content library, all the courses, which are gonna be under slash courses, and all the lesson pages, which will be under slash lessons. So let's go ahead and into the member space admin to do that. So I select our site, choose member pages, and I'm gonna go and grab the URL for the dashboard. I actually only need the part after the domain, so slash dashboard hyphen member space. Copy that, put that here. I have the option whether I want the content to be available immediately once the member signs up or after a set number of days if I was doing a drip campaign or at a specific date or time. So I'm just gonna add that. I'm gonna do the same with the content library.
And for the courses, I'm actually going to use the asterisk as a wildcard, which will basically say any page under slash courses should be protected here. And then I can do the same with lessons. Great. So now if I go back to our site and I try to access the dashboard, I see it for a split second, but then I'm redirected to the home page and I'm asked to log in to my account. And that's the same with all the other pages. So if we were going to courses, same thing happens here as well. Now I should point out, if you don't want your members or site visitors to even see the member only page for a split second before it gets redirected, you can actually black out those pages. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as it is. Also, everything you see here in terms of the message at the top here, the form, um, the styling, the colors, all of that can be customized so it fits in with the look and feel of your site. And I'll show you how to do that in a couple of minutes. But for now, we've confirmed that our member only pages are protected. And so the next thing we need to do is to create the plans in member space that our potential members are gonna sign up for so they can get access. Going back to our homepage, by default, we have these three plans here, but you don't have to set it up this way. You could just have one plan, a flat monthly rate for joining your membership. You could have two, offer your potential members a monthly option and an annual option. It's totally up to you. But I'm gonna leave this as it is, and let me just show you how we get that set up. So we go back into the member space admin. I select my site, choose member plans, and create member plans. So the first thing I have to do for my first plan is tell MemberSpace, is this a free plan? Is this a one-time payment? Am I taking multiple payments? Maybe I'm taking installments? Or is this a recurring payment, a subscription? Of this one is recurring for us, so I'm gonna choose that. I'm just gonna call this my $25 per month plan. I choose it's $25, it's USD, but obviously you could choose your own currency. If you're outside of the US, I want that to be charged every one month. There are other options here as well in terms of like I can specify a billing date, yeah, whether I wanna offer a free trial period, whether there's a sign up fee, if I'm gonna charge taxes and so on. But I'm just gonna leave those as they are. And then I specify which pages members of this plan can access. Now, because we have tiered access, you'd probably set it up in a way where if they're on the $25 a month plan, they can only access maybe you know, two of these pages. If they're on the $50 a month plan, they can access more and so on. But for now, we'll keep this very simple. I'll just say select all. And then we need to tell member space what happens after they sign up, where do we want them to go? Well, we wanna redirect them to the dashboard. And then we want them to be re redirected to the da dashboard every time they log in. So we'll put that there as well. So the plan is enabled and we set it as public. And what that basically means is that members can upgrade or downgrade between the three plans that we have. So we wanna leave that enabled so they have the option to do that. So let's create the plan and there we go. So I'm gonna skip this video and quickly set up the other two plans because I don't think you need to sit through and watch that. And then once those are ready, I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so our three plans are now set up and MemberSpace gives us a special sign-up link for each plan. And we're gonna use these to get the buttons on our pricing tables working. So I'll click the first one, get the sign-up link. In Designer, go down to Join Today. And then I'm just gonna add that link there. And I'm gonna do the same with the other plans.
okay and then I just publish back now if we go back to our home page and we take a look at these if I click the button now I get a sign up form and this is a two-step form so I would fill in my name email and password and then when I click continue it'll ask me for a payment and then this will sign me up for the $100 plan and the $50 a month plan. Okay, great. The other thing I should point out as well before we go any further is that you can customize this form. So if there are additional fields that you want to uh, include in the form, either at this stage or the next step of the, the sign up process, you can totally do that. And again, we can customize this to fit in with, more with the look and feel of the rest of your site. So let's just go ahead and sign up. And then I get asked for my credit card information. There's also the option here to uh, for them to apply a coupon and in the member space back end there's the option here to create coupons if you want to give people discounts for joining uh, you can also completely disable the coupon form so it doesn't even appear on this form if you'd like as well great so i'm not going to put the credit card information in here but basically that's what i would do and then it would redirect me as a signed in member into the dashboard page now, the other thing I want to do is to add a sign-in link to my website for my members when they come back after signing up. So let's go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this button here and add a sign-in link there. So if we go to the member space admin again, select my site, customize, integrations, and then go into Webflow. This is the link for my login slash account. So I'm just going to copy that, go back into designer, and I'm going to paste that link there. Now, if we go back to our home page and click that sign in link, I get prompted to enter my email and password to log in. And when I do that, I'll get redirected to the dashboard page. The other thing that also happens is once I've logged in, this sign in link will automatically change to say my account. And so our members will be able to click that link to manage their account information, like changing their password or upgrading or downgrading their plan. So as I mentioned earlier, everything you see about the member space experience in terms of the messages, the forms, the fonts, the colors, they can all be changed and customized to suit your needs. And so I'm going to give you one example of that. So if you currently click on the sign-in button, this form doesn't really fit with the rest of the site that well. So I'm going to make some changes to this so it feels more integrated part of the site. So we're going to go into the member space admin again, pick my site, I'm going to choose customize and look and feel. So here I can customize my login form, my account page, my sign up, my payment form. Uh, I'm just going to do the sign up form to give you a sense of what's doable here. So I want to change these uh, labels here and I'm going to use, I'm going to change the font, change the font weight. I'm going to do the same with the button. And these messages here, these links, sorry. And I want to change my button. My text is good, but I want the button to be this color here. So I'm going to say my background color is going to be, and I know what the code is because I already looked it up in the 
CSS, save changes. Great. So now if we go back here and I click the sign in form, great. I could probably also change the the border there to either remove the border, I guess, or let's just make it, let's just make the border white. Okay, and there we are. Now my form feels like a lot more integrated into the rest of my site. And that's how easy and simple it is to build a membership site with Webflow and MemberSpace. Now, this is just an overview tutorial, and we really just scratched the surface. I showed you how you can set up the basic membership functionality like password protect pages, create plans, get people to pay. We looked at some of the customizations and how you can do a whole bunch of customizations to make the experience work the way that you want. And beyond that, we have a bunch of integration options as well. So you can use Zapier to basically create endless scenarios or use cases, uh, whether it's something as simple as adding members to your email system in MailChimp or Active Campaign or ConvertKit, or doing some more really cool, interesting things with no code. We also have great integrations with third-party products like Circle, uh, where you can easily extend your membership to also include an awesome community forum. And if you're interested in that, there is a separate tutorial that you can watch to see exactly how to use Circle with MemberSpace. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, it's given you a good idea of how to go and build your own membership site, as well as helping you understand the potential and how much more is possible with customizations and integrations uh, with MemberSpace. So thanks for watching and best of luck building your membership site.